It's that time. It's face to face time. I can tell you, somebody who is not here, Randy Orton is not here. And they're telling me Kevin Owens is not here, but I don't believe it. So, Kevin Owens, wherever you may be, please, please, please come to this damn ring right now. Don't keep me waiting here, KO. Here and now, Kevin, in this ring, like we said, you know, fate. Cody, I got to say, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little insulted. See, because I was summoned to be here tonight on SmackDown because the great Cody Rhodes wanted me here. And you can't deny Cody Rhodes' request. So here I am, dressed to the nines in my best attire, and you are not even wearing your stupid, sleazy politician suit. I think I deserve better than that. You were summoned here, all right, Kevin, but not to stand in the crowd. You were summoned to come and stand in this ring with me right now. Yeah, that's true, but here's the thing. You're probably not used to this anymore, but you don't get what you want just because you want it. Oh, what are you going to do, huh? You think I'm going to jump just because Cody Rhodes says jump? No, no. I'm here. You're there. That's good enough for now. Hey, let me ask you this. I see you all riled up. You want to fight, right? That's what you said last week. You want to fight me? Before we do that, why don't you tell me what has you so upset? Because what happened over the last few months, what happened to you, what I did to you, what happened to Randy Orton's, it's your fault. You it's know my that? fault. Yeah, it's it is. It's my fault that you pal drove Randy Orton. Yeah, it's it is your fault. fault. You want to know why? Yeah, I'll tell you why. Oh boy. We knew this could get explosive. It's your fault. Because for four years, Four years! For four years, I fought the bloodline. Every week, blood, sweat, and tears. I fought them all. And they tried to end my career. More specifically, the guy who led the group, Roman Reigns, tried to end my career more times than I can count. And he never could, and he never will. And I kept fighting. Before you were even back, then you came back, and what happened? I stood by you. I fought alongside you. I fought them alongside you. I was in the ring at WrestleMania 39 trying to help you win the WWE title. I was in the ring at WrestleMania 40 after you won the title to celebrate with you as happy as I could be because you finished your story. And then what happened? A few months after that, Roman Reigns needs a partner because he's pissed off everyone around him. And who says yes? You. You. Team with the guy who tried to end my career, who tried to take away the one thing I've loved since I was 11 years old. He tried to take my livelihood, and you team with him. So yeah, everything that's happened is your fault. Enough. Enough. If you want to justify your actions, if you want to justify what you've done, because I teamed with Roman Reigns, great. You can believe that. But let me call this for what it actually is. Me teaming with Roman Reigns had nothing to do with you. He asked me, and I thought it was the right thing. But that doesn't jive with who Kevin Owens is. 
Because to you, you've got to be a victim. Kevin Owens has to have the entire world against him. The story of Kevin Owens has to be that you're being held down. Newsflash, buddy. Nobody holds Kevin Owens down more than Kevin Owens. Your self-sabotage is absolutely next level. You're obsessed with this idea of being the face of WWE. You're fixated on being the number one guy, not knowing the whole damn thing's a team effort in the first place. And what you don't realize, Kevin, is why you were obsessing and fixating over that. You have been synonymous with WWE for a decade. You have every accolade. He's a Grand Slam champion. You're one of the best superstars in recent memory, and everybody knows it but Kevin Owens. You want to talk self-sabotage? Let's talk the last time we wrestled against one another. Let's talk about Bash in Berlin. You couldn't pull the trigger. You didn't pull the trigger when it was my knee because you could have power bombed me right here on this apron and perhaps you would be standing here, all your dreams come true, WWE champion. And you blame me for that. You finally did though, right Kevin? You finally did pull the trigger. Just on the wrong guy. Randy Orton is an absolute, 100% unequivocal legend, and he was your friend, and he did not deserve what you did to him. You didn't just bring back a band move, a move that's ended lives. You crossed the line. You crossed every line that you possibly could. And this lesson isn't going to get handled with a mere microphone in this promo. No, I'm going to beat it into you. So whether it's right here in Salt Lake City, because there's plenty of show left, whether it's in your home country at Survivor Series or whether it's at Saturday night's main event. It's coming, and I need you to know, the ball's in your court. You gonna fight me, huh? You want a match? Yeah, you know what, you'll get it, but you'll get it when I say it's happening. Well. Now it's definitely not happening tonight. Good job. But just remember this. When it does happen, I'm just doing my job. I'm doing what you just asked me to do. And uh, you don't have to worry about me pulling the trigger this time because you say I crossed the line with Randy Orton. You're right. But I loved Randy Orton. You. I hate you. Kevin! 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 I don't think you hate me. I think you hate yourself. And now I know the lengths you're willing to go. So in a sense, we're in agreement because whenever you decide to jump, whenever you decide that we do have this match, just know there is not a single line I won't cross either. I cannot remember the last time that I've seen Cody Rhodes this pissed off after Kevin Owens not only assaulted him in a parking lot outside his bus, but piled drove Randy Orton to the point where we may never see Orton again. And Cody Rhodes, Corey Graves, has said a lot about Kevin Owens, and a lot of it makes sense. Owens has been rogue 
He has been disillusional 